In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a couple tips to help you figure out why your lawnmower or why your small engine has no compression. There are many ways to check if you have compression. The first way is to just stick your finger in the spark plug hole and see if uh, when you turn the motor over, if you're getting any suction or, or compression against your finger. That way is not the best way. The ultimate best way is to just use a tool which you actually screw into the spark plug hole and then you uh, crank the motor over and you get a, a number reading on a gauge that tells you how much compression you have. Then you can check on your owner's manual and see if that's the uh, required amount of compression or pressure. The third way is to just use your hand to spin the flywheel. If it gets stuck at any point of time, um, like if you're going and all of a sudden it get, keeps getting stuck at the same point and then you pass that sticking point and it goes again freely, then you have good compression most likely. But sometimes if it just keeps going without you feeling any pressure on the flywheel and if it doesn't get harder at any point of time, you can probably just assume that your motor is not compressing, compressing any air. That's why it's just spinning so freely. Reason number one for no compression is if your spark plug hole is damaged. Sometimes if you use the wrong spark plug on your machine, it will damage the hole and then from there on you won't be able to get good compression because there's a leak in between um, the outside and the inside of the engine and that's not going to be good because you can't get your motor to run the way it's supposed to. Reason number two is if you have bent or damaged valves. I've never actually encountered this myself. But I know it does happen, sometimes the valves damage and then that causes you to have bad compression and your motor doesn't run the way it's supposed to because, um, well, when you don't have compression, usually things just don't work the way it's supposed to. Number three is if you have a cracked head and that could happen if you have like a small engine and you lift it around often or if someone drops it and then a little crack gets in the head. It's, it's rare to happen, I've never had it happen, but it does happen sometimes and you need to make sure that if you don't have compression, just check that first, look on the outside of your motor, make sure that there is no cracks or leaks anywhere because if you have a crack then your motor is definitely not going to run, you probably just should buy a new motor or buy a new part to replace whatever is cracked. Number four is if, you've had, if you have bad rings on your motor, um, that can cause it to have low compression. Without good rings, you can't get a good seal, and then without a good seal, your motor won't run properly. Number five, which is the case in my on my motor here, which is an 18 horsepower Briggs, it has a bad head gasket, and that is was caused, I'm um, pretty sure, when I did not change the oil and it got to a level that was way too low. The motor kind of got way too hot, and then I lost compression. And when I opened it up here, I was able to notice that the head gasket is, is kind of bad, so that's going to get replaced soon. That's all for this video on how to diagnose and a few common reasons why your motor might not have good compression. If you learned something or if this video helped you, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.